Okay, so we're going to cover uh, today. We're going to cover tasks and follow-ups, and um, just kind of how to put uh, tasks and stuff for you to do in the system, so that uh, you can go back through and uh, follow up with your clients, and then it will give you a little notification. So, if you remember from the original um, or one of the other trainings we've done, you always have your dashboard here. Right when you log into Chime, you'll be on your dashboard, um, and then you'll see these little tiles up here. Um, you've got your new leads, opportunities, and then you've got tasks. So um, new leads is just any new leads that have come into your system for that day. Um, so as you can see on mine, I don't have any lead, new leads that have come into the system today. Opportunities is, you know, it's going to assign a score to the, um, the lead as they do stuff on your website. And as you send them emails and if they respond to them, it's going to slowly give them a higher and higher score. Once their score passes 70, it'll pop up on here and it'll say, hey, you have an opportunity for today, you know, reach out to this person. And then the one we're going to focus on today is going to be the tasks one here. So the tasks one is going to show you any tasks that are relevant to you that you need to do today, any that you have upcoming. And then it's also going to show you if you have any overdue. So as you can see, I have zero tasks for today. I have one upcoming, but then I have 35 that are overdue because I haven't gone through and updated any of my tasks. But so if you click on this tile specifically, it's going to take you to the calendar section of Chime. So you can access that calendar up on this top bar as well. If you see calendar right here, you can get to that calendar as well. But if you go through the tasks, you can go in there and go to the tasks that way as well. Um, then you can change this view. Right now it's got a calendar view or you can change it to a task view and then it'll show you a list of the tasks specifically. So these will show you all your tasks. So if you see, if I had one today, it would show today. This one is scheduled for July for me to go through and follow up with this person. And then these are all the ones I have overdue that say, hey, you should have done these. You know, go through and, and follow up with these people. So once you have created a task in the system, it will automatically uh, show up here when that task is scheduled to be due. Um, again, you can see you can see on your my tasks list here, you can show just today, you can show this week, um, any task you have this week, you could show tasks that you have this month, any that you have that are overdue. So if you wanna see just the tasks that are overdue, the ones that you finished, and then um, you can also see all your tasks, just everything. And then you can also see showing requests in here too. So if clients go on your website and they request a showing, you can see that here. So I'm gonna show you, so this is just how to view them. I'm gonna show you how to actually put them in the system. So what we're going to do, this is just where you get to them, but I'll kind of show you the workflow once we move through this here. But so if we go to people, we click on people, that's going to show us all of our leads in the system. Now, let's say for this uh, client here, Andrea, I'm going to go in here on Andrea's account. And so normally the way you would call people, um, however you're doing it, is, you know, filter by whatever you want to filter by what you want to call. Or if you just open up, you, know, you might not have as many leads as me, so you might only have 100 or 200 in there. So you might just want to go in order. So you could just go in order and you could click on this first person and then you could do whatever you do. You could call them, you know, call them on your phone, call them, see what they say. If they don't answer, you can then notate, you know, whatever you need to notate, add that note to their account. And then you can click this little button here to move to the next lead. So this will automatically just shuffle you over to the next lead that's that's next in that little line. But now let's say on you know this person here, you called them and they said, yeah, you know, I'm not really sure. Follow up with me, uh, you know, next week or you know in a, in a couple of weeks or next month they might even say. So now what you could do on on again it's on this this main profile for your lead. If you go over here to the side, you'll see you have appointments and then you have tasks. If you go in here, you can add a task. You click this little plus button. So now it's going to let you add a task to them. So this task could be anything. It could be you want to send them an email, call them, shoot them a text, um, or other. This is basically a little reminder that it's going to add to your calendar. But then also it's going to notify you when you go into Chime, you'll see that you have a task that's due. So, oh, goodness, try not to yell. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> Um, but then you can go in there and you'll know what you need to work on. So this is a good way of kind of giving yourself stuff to do throughout the week. So instead of just going, oh, I guess I'll just try calling some random people, go through, make phone calls. And if it's people that have been on the website, 
you know, or been doing stuff, but you haven't been able to get a hold of them, you know, set, set up a, a task for them and actively go through and follow up with them. So let's say I just want to follow up with another phone call, you know, um, you know, a week from now, I want to call them again a week from now. So I'm going to click call. I can put a description and for this task, I could literally put, you know, uh, call, uh, or I just put client said to call next uh, week. So I can put a little description for what I'm supposed to do. And then um, you can be as specific or as vague as you want. This is for you specifically. You're only going to see this. This is just so you understand what you're doing. So, uh, you know, you put the description as client said to call next week to um, talk about, uh, oh God, I can't spell guys, talk uh, about listing. So that's what we're going to put for the description. Then now you can specify, do you want to just send them an email? Do you want to call them? Do you want to text them or other? Other could be literally anything. If it's some other form of communication you have with them or, you know, do, you know, put whatever you want for other. But we're just going to put call. And then they said they want me to call them next week. So I'm just literally going to select the one that says a week later. Now, each one of these you can select. Um, you can select a task for later today. If you want, you can select a task. You can set a task for tomorrow two days later, and then you can specify in here. Like if you click on these ones that say two days later or whatever, it's gonna give you a little drop down. You can put it seven days later, five days later. You know, um, you, for the week, you could put a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later, a month, one month later, two months later. So you can go and put, you know, whatever you want, however long, you know, you wanna put this task out for, you know, you can do that. I'm just gonna put, let's just put a week later. Um, well, let's just put today because I just wanted I'm going to put today so that I can show you on the task side what it looks like. So it shows up. But imagine, you know, you put it in for a week later and then now we're a week later. So I'm putting it in for today. Don't don't mind that. But and then you can also specify a specific time. So if you do your calling at a specific time, say you do all your calls at, you know, uh, nine in the morning, you can put that in there and you can put a specific time. The alert will not show up until that time. So, and then you can put a reminder. You can have no reminder. God, this little thing keeps popping up a lot. You can put no reminder, you can put SMS, or you can put call. That means that the system is going to either send you a text message or even call you and say, hey, don't forget, you have a task to do. So you can set this for however you want. If you put no reminder, it's just gonna show up on your task list for things that you need to do. If you put SMS, which is normally what I put, it's gonna literally send you a text at that time, say, hey, you need to follow up with so-and-so. So this is a great way if you forget a lot of the times to call people or do stuff, when you're already going through and calling your clients on the normal times that you do, you can go in and put these reminders and then have them notify you so that you know, oh, okay, I forgot, I gotta go call this person. Then it'll immediately pop up in there. You can go on your phone and call whoever you need and then you're good to go. So um, I'm just gonna put no reminder for now because we're gonna do this right now. Goodness, and I'm not going to set a specific time because I just wanted to show up in my uh, task for today. So now once you've set the task the way you want it, don't be stupid TV. <laughs> uh, now that you've set the task the way you want it, all you're going to do is you're going to click save. So now that I've clicked save, you can see right here, now I have another task. So there's another task that says, you know, what I put for the description. And as you can see too, I have also another task in here for this client. And it says follow up BRE app. So now you can either, just like we just did just now, you can put in tasks manually by yourself for each individual client if you want, or certain smart plans that you have set up in the system or that, that we've already built out in the system have tasks built into them already. So theoretically, as soon as you assign a, a, a smart plan or a drip campaign, whatever you want to call it so you understand what it means, on a client that has tasks in it, it will automatically assign those tasks once they've moved through those steps of the smart plan. Does that make sense or is that completely confusing? That makes sense. I'll explain to you. So just so you know, there are multiple ways to put them in there. So if I go to smart plans here, I can see this is a, a smart plan I made specifically on my own, but the way that this smart plan is set up, if I click on this, it's gonna automatically send an automated text message as soon as I apply it. Then it's gonna wait a month 
and send another automated text message. So it's gonna make another task to send out an automated text message. Granted, the task is gonna do an automated text message, so I don't have to do it myself, it's gonna do it for me, but it shows up on there as a task that needs to still be completed for this client. So if you have a smart plan on a client that um, has a bunch of steps to it, it's gonna show where you're, not only you can go in smart plans and see where you're at, you know, you have one step out of two completed, but when you go into your tasks on your main page, it's gonna show that next task that's coming up. So it's gonna show here auto text from smart plan on May 25th, you know, and it's gonna send it out at 3 p.m. So, but now we have the one in here that we created manually as well. So now if I go to the dashboard again, now you see I have one task in here. So originally it was zero, now it says I have one. So let's say this is a week later from when I talked to that one client and she said to follow up with her a week, a week from now. I put the task in there. So I go in there now a week later. This is a week later. And I have one task. So now I'm going to click on this. And now, oh, maybe you got to refresh it here. Okay, well, we'll just go here. Okay, or it's not going to show up and it's going to be done. Okay, hang on. Let me make sure this pops up here. Test type on. Oh, there we go anyway. So um, it's just asking what, uh, where the task is coming from. So if you go to task origin, if is it, if is it, is the task originating from a smart plan like what I was talking about, where the smart plan generated the task, or if you added it manually. I just didn't have the add manually checked, so that's why it wasn't showing up the one I created in there. So now I have this task that I said call client, you know, next week about listing. So now this task is in here. I can click on this task. And it's going to pop up a little thing, and now I can go in here and I can make my phone call. And so I can obviously, if you click call, it's going to try to call from the system, but I don't have a dialer package. But what I would do is I would just click on, uh, you know, this person and go to their thing and then call them, or you could do it automatically. If you if you pay for a dialer package, you could go through and call them. Phone. Yeah, you Not could also do it on your phone if you have the, the Chime app. Yeah, you can you can go in the Chime app and do it from there. You'll be able to see your tasks as well on there. And it does all the noting for you. Yeah. So let's say now I've called them, I've talked to them, um, and then I'm done. You know, I'm I want to complete it. You can just click complete. That task will go away. And then obviously, you know. If you wanted to change it or modify it but let's say you call them and they're like actually i'm busy call me again next week you know then you can literally just put postpone and you can postpone this task now for another up to 30 days if it's something where you just need to create a whole new task altogether you can go in there and you can modify this task altogether and change it completely um, but if you just want to postpone it she's like hey actually call me tomorrow i'm busy you know you can postpone it for a day um, then it'll literally put it on for, uh, you know, now it says May 5th instead of the 4th, obviously, because now it's the next day. Um, but let's say you call them, you talk to them, whatever, it's complete, it's done, cool. And then obviously whatever you, you know, if you talk about listing your house, then, you know, you're going to list their house or whatever. But you can go in there and com complete out these tasks that you have in here, you know, just by clicking on them, you know, make your phone call, complete it, um, and then, you know, move forward with whatever you need to do. But the tasks are a really good way to just keep you on top of stuff so that you should be going through and checking your Chime every day. So if you're not opening up Chime every day and looking at what you have going on, granted, if you have no leads in there, focus on getting some leads into your system. That means go do some open houses, um, you know, start, you know, start using listing to leads so you can actually start generating leads. Um, you know, start using, you can use Chime to generate leads. You can post on social media, start getting people's information so that you can put this information into your CRM and then you can add them on smart plans or whatever, 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 just so that you're starting to follow up with them. You're starting to talk to people. You're starting to generate something. If you don't have any leads, I would definitely recommend you just go into your phone. I'm sure you have at least a hundred people's phone number in your phone that are either friends or family or whatever. They should all know that you're a real estate agent. So I would go in and you can manually enter in each one of those leads if you wanted to. You can also download your contacts from your phone and then save them as a uh, an Excel spreadsheet. And then you can upload them 
in full on there all at once, or you can go through manually and do it for the people that you want to do it. But for one, you need to have leads in there. So work on generating some leads to go into your system. And then once you have them in there, use these tasks to make sure you're following up with people to make sure that if there's something you talked about and you need to talk about it again, or they told you to call them back in a week, say you have a for sale by owner that you saw on Zillow, or you were driving by someone's house and it said for sale by owner and you, and you walk up to their house and you talk to them, put them in your CRM, put a follow-up on them, and then you will know to remember to do that. Because if you're trying to remember to follow up with people just based off of, oh, I talked to this, I think I talked to this one person, I need to call them. You're not gonna ever be able to follow up with people consistently and you're gonna drop, there's gonna be deals that you're missing constantly by not going in here and following up with people. So this is a really good way to keep track of what you're doing and make sure that you're on top of the people that you're supposed to be following up with. Then you don't have to worry about forgetting stuff. You can even, and again, you can put tasks in, like let me just go into people again here and then I'm just gonna go to one of these leads. You can even put tasks in for anything. So like, say you need to send them an email on something. Hey, don't forget to set up a property alert for you know Billy Bob. So you can write in there, make sure to set up a property alert or whatever. Then you can set that task, you know, and then you, you don't have to make yourself do it all that day, but you can say, hey, tomorrow I need to do that. Set it for tomorrow, save it. Then it'll show up on your tasks. It's not gonna show up right now because I put it for tomorrow, but it, it see how there's two upcoming now. If I click on these upcoming tasks and I can go this week, I can go, come on now. Okay, why is it always so stupid? Gosh. I have a small problem here. Yes. I don't know what I do. All my leads are gone. It shows a zero. Okay, I'll show you how to fix that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know what you're doing. You got the filter on there. So yeah, that's what it is. Shared filter. Yeah. But you, have to reset it. you can go in here and set a task even for you to just set up a property alert so you remind yourself to do it. This is a good way to keep yourself reminded of what things you need to do without like clogging up your normal calendar with a bunch of random stuff. So if there are certain times during the day where you do all your follow-up and you do all your, you know, making sure you got caught up with everything, schedule your tasks during that time. And then you get them all done and then you can put the normal stuff that's like actual appointments actual meetings actual showings on your actual calendar instead of filling up your calendar with 30 things of like a bunch of different tasks or or trying to set reminders in your phone this is a really good way because it will still notify you via text message it's going to be a lot better than i tried using the reminders on the iphone i can never get that shit to work so i would recommend going in here and doing it this way too so this is a really good way to keep track of everything of what you should be doing and what you need to follow up with. Um, does that make sense? Is that confusing or? Not confusing. Jerry? I knew these a little bit. Yeah. That makes sense? I'm trying to keep up here. But... <laughs> okay. And then we'll do next week, what we'll do is we'll do um, uh, an overview again of the entire system so that we can do just a full going through as well. Um, and then we'll, we'll leave this next 30 minutes for us to ask questions on anything we have, but um, uh, we'll do a whole overview class, but also too, Jerry, if you go on the YouTube channel, if you just go to YouTube and type, it, type in Barrett Real Estate, okay. we have things as well on uh, the YouTube channel of like how to use Chime and stuff like that. Also, the other trainings and stuff that we record, some of them that you haven't seen or whatnot are on there as well. Um, so you can always go on there and, and, and catch up on some stuff. Um, also, too, uh, just so everybody knows, in Chime, there are training modules already. If you go to this top section up here and you click this little question mark and you go to Learning Center, um, this is a whole resource of courses that are videos that will show you how to do stuff. So if you're if you're a new agent and you haven't even started using this and you haven't even really set up your account, um, you know, one you could wait for the classes that we have and do them during that time. But if you don't want to wait and you want to get started right away, you can go on agent onboarding and you can sign up for this course. It's it's free. It's included. You just have to enroll and put your information in there. But then it has classes and they're and they're not very long. They're a couple minutes each. You know setting up your account, um, adding your MLS, integration for your lead capture. It'll walk you through step-by-step step 
how to do each one of these in here. I'll, I'll enroll real quick so it'll so I can show you what they look like here. So there we go. And now you can see Hi, welcome to your chime on brain series. It's got a whole video on how to explain to for you to walk through how to use the system as well. So you can watch this on your own time. And when you have time to go through and set up your chime accounts and stuff like that that way as well. But you start by getting into YouTube. So this this part, the learning center for Chime is in Chime. So if you're in Chime, just like you 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 go in Chime, just look at like to look at your leads. If you go up to this top section here and you go to the question mark, and you click that, and then there is multiple things for like uh, help it helpful stuff. But if you go to this learning center specifically, this will take you to all the videos for like. Um, the stuff you'll see here, it'll say welcome. And then you'll have all your trainings and stuff like that in here too, mm -hmm. that these ones are done by Chime, the people who created the program. So these are very good detailed videos. They're not super long. They're pretty bite-sized that you can go through and kind of do them on your own time and learn the different aspects of the system. If you don't want to uh, uh, wait for, you know, the Chime classes. And again, the Chime classes that we do are a little bit more of like an overview of specific things that people may be struggling on. Sure, we do generally, you know, once a month or so, we do like a full overview again, just for everybody that's brand new, just to kind of get give them a good idea of how that system operates. But I would recommend you do go in here and watch some of these videos or do the, the whole onboarding course. And it will show you step by step how to do those specific things so that you can go in there and actually, you know, learn the full aspects of the system uh, and again don't do it all at once obviously this is you know it's a marathon not a like not a not a sprint so don't try to learn everything all at once because you're going to overwhelm yourself it's going to take time to learn how to use the system and move through it uh you know it's uh you know not even i'm a full expert in the entire system so there are a lot of things that it can do go through learn the basics of how to you know, maneuver yourself through the software so you know how to operate things and what they do, and then decide what things you want to use. So, like, the only things that I really use in Chime is I use the smart plans, I use the tasks, and um, that's honestly probably it. And then I use, like, some of the social media stuff that it does. But that's really all that I use to make sure I keep in touch with my people and follow up with them. So you don't have to be super complicated with it. You can use it very simply. Or you, if you're super techie and you want to do the, all the crazy stuff, you can do all the crazy stuff. So <clears throat> um, to get to the YouTube channel, all you're going to do is just literally go to YouTube. Oops. Oh, look at that. There it is. So you're going to go to YouTube. <clears throat> Come on now. Just thinking about it. And then you're just going to type in Fair Real Estate. Then you'll see here, got our channel. I don't see that. It's going to look different on your iPad. Mm. It's not going to look exactly the same. And then you'll see the videos here. You can see all the videos right here. So these are all different videos. But if you go to playlists, you can see we have playlists specifically on Chime. So you see one here that's Chime training. We got open houses, we got trainings for open houses, mindset, broker mastermind, the other broker mastermind should be in here, um, social media stuff. So we don't have a ton of stuff on here yet. Um, we're adding more and more all the time. Um, but again, that stuff's in here and you can go through it and watch these as well, especially if you like hearing my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I have only one. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it's like you should be able to see all of them in there. One, two, three only. One, two, three only. That's it's because it? that's from the that's the latest stuff that's on there. If you go to oh, it's because you're not in the actual channel. Click on that and then go to videos. Oh. Um, but yeah. So um any questions so far? Okay, so I know you did have a question, Julie, on the right now you can't see your leads, correct? Um, I added the smart uh, plan and the all of that in is showing again. Oh, okay. I don't know so if you I look, just always remember right here. Yeah. 
So right here on that yeah. filter, mm -hmm. right now it's showing the ones without smart plans. Mm -hmm. If you just reset this filter, now uh -huh. it's gonna show you all your leads. Oh. So don't get confused. If you go through this main dashboard and you click new leads and mm -hmm. click on this, it now it shows I don't have any. Right. That's because there's a filter on it. There's so you just kind of go to this, you see how it has a one there. Uh -huh. And then you just click reset. Now it will show all your leads. Oh. So don't get confused if you go in there and you actually click on this. That's why normally I just go through the people tab uh -huh. and, and do it that way because it doesn't apply the filter. But if you go through the one that says new leads today, mm -hmm. it's going to filter it to only the leads today. And if you have zero leads that came in today, it's going to show you nothing. Oh. So and then but to delete a filter, you just reset it. And then mm -hmm. now all your stuff will show up. Mm -hmm. Um, do you got any questions so far, Jerry? No, like I said, you said we're going to next Thursday, you're going to start the beginning again. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a whole overview. Okay. So okay. next, next week is kind of the beginning. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to send it out to everybody just explaining. Um, but it's kind of the beginning of what we're calling the summer series. So we've mapped out all the classes for the next like two months and they're all really focused on production and doing actual uh, product, product-based actual uh, training, as in like, we want you to actually do something that you can tangibly use right away and start doing, as opposed to, um, you know, some of the theoretical stuff and like, kind of like, you know, so we will still be doing system-based stuff on the normal days. Um, on uh, Tuesdays, we always do Broker Mint. Um, at 10.30, and Thursdays we always do Chime on at 10.30, but then now what's going to be happening after next week on Thursdays is we're going to be alternating between a couple other classes, so we'll be doing two classes on Thursdays. We'll be doing, we'll still always do Chime at 10.30, and then we'll be alternating between listing to leads, Popple, and then uh, the Bear Real Estate app. We'll be alternating between those um, throughout the week after the Chime one. So that way you guys can get training on the other stuff instead of once a month when we're doing listing to leads training or whatever, we'll have it regularly and multiple times a week. So you guys can get, and it'll be kind of similar to the way we set up the chime training where the first 30, 40 minutes or so, we'll just kind of go over one topic specifically. And then you guys will have the opportunity to ask any questions that you you've had or, or whatnot. So I would recommend that if you guys have questions and stuff like that, while you're you know, throughout the week while you're manipulating the system and you're moving through it and you're trying to figure stuff out, if there's something you just don't understand, you know, obviously if it's, if it's super important and you need to figure it out right now, you know, call one of us, you know, call me, call Leslie, uh, the support line should be set up and I think they send out an email for it. Um, so you should be able to call and ask us questions um, if it's something super important. Um, or if it's something that you can like wait on and it's not a big necessity and you're working on other stuff while you're doing that, write that question down and then, you know, make sure you bring it to the class and we can go over it specifically. Um, we want to make sure you guys have enough, you know, we're available enough to make sure we can answer all your questions that you have. But you're, to be honest, you're not going to know what even to ask or what's going to come up until you start using the system. Mm -hmm. So I recommend you go in there and start messing with stuff, start trying stuff out, you know, use the tools we already have. We have the trainings in Chime that you can use. We have the trainings on the YouTube channel that you can go through and watch. Start, start working with that stuff. Start inputting leads into your systems. So you can start manipulating them. You can create fake leads if you want to, to kind of just mess with them and see what they look like. I would recommend that you go in there and add yourself in as a lead, put your name, your info, you know, your phone number. Just to see how it works. Yeah, put your phone number, put your email and stuff in there, and then put yourself on smart plans. See yes. what the smart plans look like when, it, when it actually comes to an actual client. See how it's delivered. Yeah, see how it's delivered. Send yourself texts through there, see what they look like. Um, you know, I would recommend trying it out on yourself so that you can see what this content or this information that you're sending out to people is going to look like. So, and just how it works so that you know when you're setting it up for somebody, you know exactly what that's going to, you know, entail or look like for them. And I would so start, with, says, start with settings. Go into settings yeah. and do all that stuff first, because that will help you tremendously on who you're getting or who it's coming from, phone numbers, whatnot. That's, yeah, exactly. the, that's the easier. You put a picture in there, um, get that set up first before you do anything else. 
and then read the videos or yeah. look at them. So Jerry, when what he's talking about is when so since you just just signed on and stuff like that, um, if you go into settings here at the top, you see this top you know uh, bar. You've got settings. So I would recommend go in here and add in your your if you have a headshot, add in your headshot. Make sure your information's correct. Add your license number. You know, add your MLS ID um, in here. You know, you're going to select your association. Uh, if you have an email signature, you can add it in here. It'll create a generic one for you. Just make sure you put a picture. Otherwise, it'll just have a blank thing. Um, but go in here, change your settings. Make sure this is right. You know, go to your preferences. Um, you won't really have to change your preferences unless you have like working hours and, and stuff like that, unless you only work from like, you know, nine to five or something like that. Um, and the notifications is how it's going to alert you when things happen within the system. So this is whether it'll send you an email, whether it'll send you a text message, um, or if it'll send you push notifications if you download the app. Um, there is a Chime app. Everything that you can do in Chime, like notating people's accounts, um, you know, calling them, setting up tasks and all that stuff, you can do that from the Chime app as well. So if you're pretty good with your phone, you can download that as well and you can use it uh, that way. It's just Chime CRM. Plus it records it. Plus it makes notes that you've been in there and yeah. done that. That's kind of the cool thing about the phone app. Yeah. This online or in your laptop doesn't do it. It only does it if you do it yourself. Right. But again, Jerry, for you, what I would recommend, go in here, go to this little question mark, go to Learning Center. It's not working on the iPad, so the Learning Center. When I click, I don't get anything. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll look at yours. Yeah. It's probably the, because it's the iPad. Oh. Um, but yeah, so go in here and then do the agent onboarding and just go through this whole little course. You know, take a, take a day to go through here and just kind of start learning the different systems of it. And it's going to walk you through the, what we talked about, setting up your account, adding your MLS, doing all that stuff, you know, and, and, and whatnot, the property alerts, all the different things that are in the system that you can do. It's going to kind of walk you through the whole thing. So again, do this on do this in chunks because this whole thing, this whole onboarding course is four hours. So, you know, do it within, you know, do it over the next week or so. You know, don't do it all in one day because you're going to be over one. All right. Does that make sense? Does that feel good or no? Or you're just like, this is crazy. That's so all over my head. I'm I'm old and <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to teach an old dog new tricks here. So okay. we'll do it. We'll make it happen. Time's not easy. So sitting through one of these classes two or three times will always help. Yeah. So and Even then if it's repetitive. Yeah. If so, you, uh, if you have questions too, Jerry, you should have my cell phone number now. So um if you have questions, you can always text me or call me and I can try to help you or walk you through it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do we have any other questions on anything? No? Yes, maybe so. <laughs> I oh. would talk to questions, but after okay, yeah. this class. Yeah, I mean, if that's it, I don't think there's anybody else on Zoom right now. So uh, just us and Jerry. So switch back over here, stop sharing. Cancel, so I don't want that. This is not an easy procedure. I mean, it's not an easy you, system you, to get start. Is. Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, yeah. you're a techno guy, but if, if, for instance, I've been in every time class there's been, but just to hear it again, you find something new, right? And then it's easier to to maneuver. Yeah, and yeah. the questions aren't so few and far between. Exactly. So yeah. So um, other than that, uh, I mean, we're I'm probably not going to cover anything else. No one has any other questions. Um, if you do have questions, feel free to text me, call me, email me. Um, you know, if it's urgent, text me or call me. If it's not urgent, send me an email. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop recording here. Yes.